Welcome to this tutorial for Unreal Engine 4 and 5. Today we will be talking a little bit about time dilation, the ability to slow down and speed up time. So let's jump into it. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26 if you want to follow along. Now this works the same in Unreal Engine 5 as well. So uh, time dilation is something you might have encountered if you're watching sci-fi or something like that. Uh, it's a system that's built into the engine to allow us to alter how fast time will progress for something. So if we were to go to our third person character for example, and we want to have some kind of slow motion effect. Now slow motion is normally something that you would use either in cinematics or you would use it in something like when you have a certain situation in your game and you want to sort of elongate the feeling and sort of like delve into what the situation is currently what situation is currently happening sort of like a if it was a, a violent game perhaps a, a killing move would slow down into slow motion to allow you to see like exactly what's happening uh, if you had something like maybe a racing game then maybe slow motion would happen when you get past finishing lines so you just can like revel in the victory and and, and that nature um anyway to, to just accomplish this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking this up to our jump. So when we press spacebar, we have our input action jump happening and it will call the jump function. And when it's released, we have the stop jump called. Now, uh, for this example, we're just going to be doing this, that we are going to type in dilation. And you can see that we get a global time dilation here. And this dilation is uh, a value of let me show you actually let's do yeah sure that this will be fine so when we have our jump we're gonna have a time dilation of let's say 0 0.5 and then when we uh, release our space bar we're gonna have a time dilation of one again so this is what that looks like so we play around and then we press space and you can see that we're slowly, slowly going through the air. And now I didn't release the spacebar. Uh, let's do that in the air. So I'll jump and release, and then you'll see it resumes. Um, so this dilation is a uh, multiplier, meaning that if you have 0 0.5, it's going to be going at half speed, and a one is going to be at uh, normal speed. If we were instead to change this to 2 then you can see that when we do our jump we're instead going to have double speed until we release the key which we have to do fairly quickly to see it resume to normal um, so that's how that works um, now this is not the only way you can use time dilation you also have if we type in time dilation, you see we get a few options here. Uh, one is to get time dilation, which is we're getting a specific time dilation for a specific actor. And we can also get custom or set custom time dilation. Um, so this will allow us to, if we wanted to have, for example, uh, the rest of the world uh, run slowly and only the character itself run at normal speed so for example if you wanted to make an ability where uh, within an area of effect that you create everybody gets slowed down then you can uh, make uh, some kind of uh, trace or determination how to find the references to those actors that are affected and then you can set their uh, custom time dilation to be let's say 0 0.5 so they move at half speed meaning that they will be slow in relation to you or you could do something like set the the global time dilation to 0 0.5 and slow the whole world or and and then set your own custom uh, own time dilation to one meaning that you move uh, in normal speed while everything else is moving slow for example now, if I were to demonstrate something like that, let's create a little blueprint quickly here. Uh, let's make it of an actor. 
let's call it BP uh, falling like so and let's just make very something very simple in this one so we're gonna make a static mesh just so we have a physical representation of it and we're gonna make that a cube so we have something in the world then on this static mesh we're just gonna click in simulate physics so that it actually falls down according to gravity and what we're going to be doing is we're gonna enter the key press of e as an event and we're gonna have that as our spawning of this object so we'll spawn an actor of class and we will choose our BP falling falling cube like so and we will pull this up we'll split the struct here we say it starts 2000 units that's 20 meters up in the air and let's see what that looks like so press e and you see that the box is falling down so that's that's what's happening uh, now what we want to do is uh, let's say we wanted to make sure and this is going to be a little bit extreme but let's say that the world should go down to a fifth of the normal speed when we press space our jump input and then we want our normal character to move around at normal speed so we could um, set custom time dilation here to oops that's not what i wanted to do to five for example uh, the reason we choose 5 here is because, uh, again, this is multipliers, so 0 0.2 times 5 means that we will run at uh, 1 speed, which is normal speed. Although these, six, these values are kind of extreme, very low speed, very high speed, uh, so we will probably get some kind of artifacting here. But uh, let's spawn the cube and then I'll start jumping, so the cube should slow down because it's affected by the global time dilation and the character should be moving at normal speed. So let's see what that looks like. And we jump and you see that the cube is starting to slow down and it's jumping. I'm running around at normal speed, but it's falling and reacting in fifth of the speed and I let go of space. You'll see that I'm running around at now five times the dilation because we said that we go back to normal for the global one here. And this one still was still set to be five times the normal one, so it became five times the normal speed when this one went back to normal. Um, yeah, so so that's how you can control uh, speed of time to make things like slow mo effects and killing blows and uh, things like that to make thing, things feel uh, cooler in a way. I hope that made sense. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you might have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.